We're gonna be drawing another apple today. I don't know, apples are very fun to paint for me. Random, but true. Today, I will be painting with watercolors. I have this little watercolor palette. Yes, a lot of colors in this palette. I also have a very specific kind of paper that I use for watercolor paintings. I have some paintbrushes that I use for my watercolor. I put them all on a little organizing sheet because I thought it looked really pretty. <laughs> So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start with a really small brush. I'm gonna go in with a red. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I've never done this before. We're gonna do a circle. That doesn't look like a circle. <laughs> Not every apple is perfect, so we're gonna have a bit of diversity here. I started really getting into painting and art in grade three, and I started painting a lot of eyeballs and noses. Um, but my grade 3 teacher, he really was impressed by my artwork and he was like, oh, do you want to like show the class how you paint your eyeballs? <laughs> and I said yes, because I wanted to be a teacher. Here is it so far. I started with some red, as you can probably see, and that's it so far. I'm going to go in with some water now and I'm just going to try to loosen up this paint to make it like a lighter shade. I'm just going to turn this back towards me because I can't really see anything. I'm going to go in with a little bit of black and brown and red. And I'm just going to do that on the parts where I want there to be shadow. I think the thing is with apples is that there's so much different textures. There's so much layering that it's just kind of fun to do. And then I'm going to draw the place where I want the stem to be as well. Gotta be honest, I feel like Bob Ross right now. Anyway, the apple's not gonna be totally symmetrical. I'm not totally symmetrical, so it's okay. <laughs> this is what it looks like right now. Um, kinda looks like a red pumpkin, gotta be honest. I find that when you're trying to highlight things, it's better first to discover where you want the apple facing and where you want the sun. So like, if I wanted the sun here my, on my imaginary page, it would be like shining down like this. This is it so far. I made some bold moves by bold strokes. <laughs> so funny, am I? I'm now gonna do a bit of the green part. I grabbed a little bit of green and yellow. I'm just gonna start on the parts that I do want to be green and then blend them out with like lines like that. And just building a lot of layers and you can honestly do whatever you want at this point. So this is what it looks like right now. My background, I'm gonna do the yellow brick road from The Wizard of Oz, and I'm gonna do it in like a rainbow form. I don't know why the apple's on the yellow brick road as a rainbow, but it is. Okay, this is the final product. I added in the yellow brick road, and I kind of, I did something weird with the clouds. They're supposed to be clouds, but um, I mean, it's not perfect, but what is? Come on. Art is supposed to be original. It's supposed to be about you. You're supposed to be super creative and just put all your thoughts and feelings and ideas onto a piece of paper. Be creative, be you. Yeah, that's all I have to say for now. 